Okay, now I'm working on the storm door or screen door. Really a storm, so. I have the frame all back together again. And the door, which I showed the other day. The screen door, I tried heating it up, but my heat gun was melting the furring here, the sweeper. And this kind of just falls out, but it's not really a problem. That stiffens up the joint here. I basically got that off with brute force. As you can see, there's only about a quarter inch of glue there. Guess I don't want to waste any of this valuable plastic. <laughs> Which started to melt when I hit the heat gun to it. Any rate, so I'll just measure up two inches. Give the plastic a cut. I'll cut these angles this time with the straight edge and the grinder. I've already scored where I want to cut. I'll have to re-drill these two holes and countersink them. That won't be a problem. And after that, I can put the whole assembly back together again. And I'm very happy this has worked out. <laughs> I was really worried that I would have to do something like I've seen on some trailers where the bottom of the door actually hangs below the floor. You can see it on the side of the trailer. The two or three inches of door hanging below the, below the trailer floor which I didn't want to have to do it like that. I think it looks pretty ugly. But I've actually seen it on uh, some popular manufacturer's trailers. Next time I see one, I'll get the name. <laughs> but with it down to 70 inches now, it will all be on the wall. It won't interfere with the roof construction. So I'm quite happy about this. It's taken a couple of days to do this, but it had to be done. And the next stage of the project is I was going to build all the framework for the bed and the dinette ahead of time before I put the walls up, but I realized then it's just going to interfere with getting the skin on the inside eventually. So I'm going to build the whole cabin first. And I'll have a door. <laughs> and I might be able to even get a little heat in there to be able to be comfortable working. I'm going to complete the whole outer skin. Um, you know, the framing and the Luan plywood. That's the other nose over there. And then I'll have an enclosed space to work in. I'll run all the wiring, the plumbing. We're leaning towards making this an all electric trailer with no propane at all. We don't uh, boondock at all. We always have electricity. So why pay for propane when they're giving you the electricity as part of your nightly fee? Makes more sense to me anyway. And a few of the things will be lighter. We'll still have to drag a, we'll still have to have a propane tank because I always use the main tank to run our barbecue. So I'll be making an area, I'll either make a frame for the propane but we we're talking about it today and I think we'll get a tongue box and rather than have the battery at the back have the battery in the tongue box then I don't have to worry about ventilating it and then there'll be nothing inside the trailer that can uh, cause any problems all right thanks for watching